came by the thousands to the Southern California coast. Lured by the spectacle that would in one short weekend culminate a long summer season and determine the two-man team that would earn beach volleyball's most coveted title, world champions. Outdoor volleyball competition on sand or grass is immensely popular all over the United States. But nowhere is the competition so intense or interest so great as on the California Pro Beach Tour, where the world's best players pursue cash and glory. This weekend, the season hits its crescendo as the players seek the sport's most coveted title, the Jose Cuervo World Championship of Beach Volleyball. The action is fast, yet elegant, controlling the ball, delivering it to your partner, who attacks. With dynamic force, 70 mile per hour spikes explode into the sand, demoralizing the opposition and thrilling the crowd. Defense requires both quickness and strength. A lightning reaction and determined burst of energy can save a ball and return it with interest. But often the most courageous efforts yield nothing. Nothing but frustration. The sport itself is beautiful, as elemental as its environment. A powerful yet graceful dance on a stage of deep white sand. The backdrop, the majestic Pacific. Above, the relentless summer sun, a radiant solar spectator. As the net separates the opposing sides of the battlefield, the players soar to fire their heavy artillery. One by one, the lesser teams are eliminated from the Cuervo World Championship. By the second and third days of play, only the elite remain alive. The others will have to wait for a year. For the survivors, fatigue becomes a critical factor. In the still air, the temperature soars over 90 degrees and the sand even hotter. Stamina and concentration both mental and physical, become keys to victory. By the finals of the Cuervo, the field is narrowed to the best. Kartsky Rai and Sinjin Smith, young indoor stars from UCLA's national champions, are undefeated in three outdoor appearances this summer. They cruise into the finals without a loss. Opposing them, Dane Selznick and Andy Fishburne, dominating veterans of the Pro Tour, had survived an early loss to battle their way into the finals. The veteran pair eliminated all opposition, including last year's world champions. Now, they were the favorites. An entire summer of training and struggle was on the line. None of the gathered thousands dare sacrifice their courtside seats. And against the Pacific sunset, the final drama unfolds. After three days of intense competition, Fishburne and Selznick even the tournament with a two-hour marathon victory. Now it all comes down to one final match. One game to 15 points for the world championship.
Neither team would submit. It seemed like the final game would go on forever in the half light of evening. score climbed 14 14 15 15 16 16 neither team able to win by the required two points Until Smith and Kirai put down the final point at 1816, did the rebellious spark in Fishburne and Selznick die. Victory just out of reach.